Hello friends, good afternoon. It's true, I'm back in my craft cave here in Markham, Ontario, Canada. My name is Genevieve Coe. I am a independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I've been a demonstrator for almost 15 years and I'm excited to be here. For those of you that uh, haven't been following me, I have been away for the past six weeks. I think for over five weeks I haven't been in my craft cave so i'm excited to be back where have i been for five weeks for five weeks i've been in chicoutimi quebec uh, in a university uh, french immersion program so you may be wondering why was genevieve studying french no reason except that i love the language and i'm sort of at the stage of my life where i have three kids and uh, they're a lot more independent now my youngest is 15 so they're able to take care of themselves and everything so it just seemed like the right time to go and because i had taken some courses um i qualified as a student so this uh, program um, is funded by the government or it's partially funded by the government and so the only two criteria for this french immersion program is to be a student and be canadian and so since i had taken some courses um, last year, I've been kind of taking some courses through Humber College just to work on my French. Those were the courses I was taking. Anyway, it qualified me to attend the program, so everything lined up and I was able to uh, go to Quebec for five weeks. So thank you, Janice. Janice is asking whether I had a fun time. I did have a fun time. Um, it's a bit discombobulating, like, you know, Maybe because most of the people there are like 20, <laughs> between 20 and 25, I would say, was the majority age or main age of the people that were at the French Immersion Program. So I was definitely like way above the normal age. But um, so I wasn't having fun the way they were having fun, but I had fun in my own way. I uh, love the fact that I got to uh, live with a host family. So I felt really, really blessed because only out of over 200 students, only 38 got placed with a host family. There just really wasn't enough host families for this uh, immersion program. But I was lucky enough, blessed enough to uh, have a Shakudmi mom. So if you've watched my previous videos, you'll have met my Shakudmi mom when I did some videos in Quebec. But it is great to be back live here because uh, over the five weeks, my videos were kind of pre-recorded and set to schedule and um, it's not the same as interacting with you in person hello pat oh great to have you here wonderful wonderful oh jennifer's here too hello hello oh it's so great to be back there's something yeah so it's a bit discombobulating to like get there figure out what's going on figure out my way to school all of that sort of thing right by the time you're kind of used to it then it's time to come home so i feel discombobulated again i spent yesterday just trying to clean up a bit down here. Today, I was a little more focused. I got some things done and um, I'm excited about that, but I think it's gonna take me a while to get back into the groove and the rhythm. Plus, also because it's summer and um, really Nathaniel's home, my youngest, he's home and my husband's home. He's a high school, uh, an elementary school principal, so he's home as well. So it just feels weird having people home and yet I wanna get work done. I think my brain's even confused, like the past couple nights, I know I'm home, but I think in my dreams, my brain is confused. Like I think I'm dreaming in French or like all night, I think my brain is thinking, why are you speaking English? For five weeks, you've spoken French all the time. Like, I mean, I spoke English when I called Kevin each night, but the majority of the time I was speaking in French. So it was, I think my brain is just confused. So, um, but I am excited to be on here with all of you. Excited to see you keep those comments going. Oh, it's great to be back. And uh, Kevin did get around to um, choosing some Facebook Live winners while I was away. So we love to read your comments. So keep going, like go ahead, comment. If it's your first time here, um, Say hello, let me know where you're from, how you found my page. I'd love to, I love to share stamping. So that's basically how these Facebook Lives started. I tend to do them on Tuesday afternoons, 2 p.m. And uh, 
Yeah, it's really because I have fun crafting and I want to share it with you. So typically what I do is I uh, pick a product at the beginning of the month and I play with that product all month and I design at least or I show at least one um, project each week. Sometimes I do two, but usually I just do one so that it doesn't end up super long. These videos are also meant as a way for me to tell you what's going on in the Stampin' for Fun Craft Cave. There's always lots of things going on here, although it's been kind of quiet for five weeks here. Um, six weeks really because the week before I went to French Immersion I was up in Thunder Bay doing some volunteer work so it's been kind of quiet down here but we can all give a huge shout out to Mr. Kevin Coe my husband um, aka now supporting demonstrator who uh, helped keep things sort of um, from crashing over here he uh, many of you came and picked up your orders or placed orders and I think I think he did okay I think he did great so you guys can give him a, a round of applause in the uh, chat there oh there he is <laughs> he came to make a special guest appearance on Tuesday at 2 okay so great to have you all here I have so much news to share because I this time I know I'm live and it's not some pre-recorded video that I'm gonna have to download and upload and blah 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 um, so maybe I get to talk as long as I want so go ahead and and talk away chat because I'll actually hopefully um, be able to see your comments live and uh, interact with you That's that's another thing I love about Tuesday at twos is that time of interaction and connection. But it's kind of cool that we had technology in our favor so that even though I wasn't here exactly live at 2 p.m. in those previous weeks that uh, Facebook did something and made it go. But total random comment, the little thing feature that I was using on Facebook to schedule my lives is going to be finished <laughs> this month, I guess. Maybe no one knew about it or no one knew it existed and they weren't using it. And so they're like ending it. I just learned how to use it and now they're ending it. So I don't know. Anyway, always learning new things. So if I ever have to schedule another live, I don't know how I'll do it because, uh, <laughs> because I guess Facebook decided maybe no one was using it and they're ending the little feature that I use to schedule it to go live. So, oh, well. We'll deal with that when it comes because as far as I know, I'll be here pretty much mostly on Tuesdays again, back to back to work in the craft cave, except at the end of this month, I'm going to be going to New Orleans, New Orleans. I don't even know how to say that place, New Orleans, New Orleans. Anyway, there's a Stamp It Up convention down there for the leaders and um, I'm excited to go to it's the first in person Stampin' Up event in a really long time. So I'm really excited. I hope no hurricanes come. I hope no airplanes get canceled and everything will go well and what's fun is that kevin said that he wanted to come too now that he's officially on the books as my uh my partner in crime um supporting demonstrator so we're both going to get to go to new orleans together new orleans i don't know i'm really sorry for those of you who are from the united states and i am like torturing the name of the city so I don't know you guys can teach me how to say it but so that'll be at the end of the month but i think i'll be here on the tuesday uh so if not i don't know i'll let you know ahead so you always know what to expect yes norma thank you great to see you great to see you too yes yes if you don't if you don't know what's going on you can always read my blog posts i gave like long detailed explanations of things that i did when i was at my french immersion program so that uh, kevin would know that i was alive and all of that okay so i have tons of news to share tons and tons and tons of news to share so maybe it's best if i flip my camera over I kind of like test ran everything before because it's really discombobulating. Like I haven't been here for six weeks. So hopefully everything will work. I just discovered my mount can actually adjust up and down. Never knew that before. So it's just from carrying it in the suitcase and all of that. I was like, what's this? Why is this moving? So anyway, always learning new things. Let me flip the camera over, share what's going on in the craft cave. And then I promise we're going to make a super cute card together. So uh, I can't wait to share with you. And if you're new, don't be scared. I'm here to share it. Go ahead, ask me questions. I love questions uh, and I'm happy to help. Okay, so let's see if we can flip this over. Is everything looking okay so far? Yay! Okay, all my news. So much news to share. 
Okay. So much news. I'm going to put on my glasses so I can see your comments. Okay, first thing to know is my important website where you can find everything you need. Okay, so linktree slash stampin' for fun. Stampin' for, this is a for fun. And there's a dot between the R and the EE, -E, okay? Linktree slash Stampin' for Fun with the dot between the R and the EE. -E, and um, that will have all my important links. So if you're on my email newsletter list, you'll see that I've updated my class schedule for September. You can find that link there. Um, if you want to browse and shop, my online store, everything's there, okay? So, what news do I have to share with you? Okay, I've got a stack of things here. Okay, just a reminder, this is the last month of the celebration promotion. So, how many of you, go ahead and tell me in the comments, how many of you have already taken advantage of celebration? So, I want to know because this is the last month, I'm sorry, I think I ran out of English celebration brochures and I can't find the other ones. So all I have is one French celebration brochure left, but you can view all the items on the website as well. So just a quick reminder, three things to know about celebration is shopping. You can get free products, free exclusive products. Now they are only while supplies last. So some things are already sold out because we're in the second month, um, almost halfway through the month, it feels like, but I know it's just the beginning. Okay, so we've got like a cute hippo stamp set and a uh, cute dies. So I think those are still available. Yes, thank you so much, Katerina. I did see that come through when I was in Quebec, but I didn't get a chance to text you. But thank you so much for putting your second celebration order in. It's very common, guys. If you if you haven't put in a celebration order yet, what are you waiting for? If you did put in one, um, it, it's very common to put in second, third celebration orders just to take advantage of all the different things. Now, uh, this paper, I think, is still available. Okay, it's beautiful designer series paper. So every $60 spend will get you a gift. So there's kind of two levels. Um, this is the $60 level. This one's designer series paper, but some of them are uh, kind of higher valued uh, freebies, such as this, okay, the, in English, it's amazing phrasing, I think is what it's called, but it's awesome. It's free with $120 shopping spree. So, Oh, this one's sold out, I believe. The tree lot dies, um, so we won't talk about those, but congratulations to all of you who managed to get it before it sold out. Yes, I totally agree, Katerina. The freebies are so good. So shopping is one of the best things about um, celebration and getting those freebies, but we can't overlook the um, freebie that comes with hosting, okay? So I know... Um, some of you may think, oh, I don't want anyone in my home right now. Uh, still nervous about maybe health things or gathering together. Don't worry. You can do um, parties online. I do them over Zoom. I do them through Facebook. Uh, but as well, you don't even have to have a regular party. You can be a party of one. As long as your order is 375 or more, you'll get access to this free stamp set. And free, of course, is the best price ever. Or you can just share the catalog, talk it up with some friends, and you can collect orders yourself and input them all together as one order. So, um, that's an option too. Or you contact me and I'll, I can kind of set up a catalog party for you. Okay, so there's a freebie if you get up to 375 in orders, whether you host a party, whether you um, gather orders from friends or whether you're a party of one and shop for yourself. Okay, so as soon as you get to 375, you get this exclusive perfect pomegranate stamp set. And then always the best deal is the starter kit. So for those of you joining late, don't worry. Um, there is this information in English on the website. For those of you who speak French, then this is perfect. Um, I don't know. This is the brochure that I have, the French one. So joining is always the best deal. So you get to choose $165 of whatever you want, but you pay only $135, no shipping. And if I can say so myself, no shipping is 
already an amazing, amazing value. Plus, they've discounted the price. Plus, during celebration, you get this exclusive stamp set called Making Plans. Okay, so it's a really fun stamp set that you can use for your agenda. For those of you, bonjour, Martine, comment ça va? Wait, um, so you can use it for agendas, you can use it for um, scrapbooking. So you'll get that free when you get the starter kit. You will also get uh, these notebooks. Here, let me open them up. They're very pretty notebooks. Okay, look at that. So you can use them to make plans or to use with your stamps and make it, have you guys heard of smash books? Anyway, so you could make it like a smash book where you, um, it's kind of like messy scrapbooking where you, I mean, I could put in my brochures from Shakutami, little pictures, glue them all in, stamp, whatever. Or you could just use them as regular notebooks to keep track of all your things. Wait. <laughs> Très bien, Martine. Okay, A. Sorry, my brain is all excited. Whoa, someone's speaking French. Okay. Um, and then this beautiful planner is also included free. Okay. Oh, good. You got the Wonderful World and the DSP. Yes. Actually, one of my technique cards this month will be using that Wonderful World DSP. Okay, so we get these wonderful stickers. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use it as a regular agenda or I think I'm going to use it more as sort of like a long-term planner and some of my big goals and priorities. That's how I'm going to use it. So I'm going to sit down and do that. But look at, it's like a, a leather band. It's hard to see. If you were here in person, I'd pass this around. Okay, but you get this free. Look at how beautiful it is. Super beautiful. And then there's this great pouch here at the back where you could actually put one of the notebooks in there. There's a spot for your pen. So it's really well thought out. And there's a magnetic clasp here. Okay, so lovely, lovely free gifts during celebration. So celebration is all about free stuff. You can choose which free stuff you want, how to mix and match it. It's all good because you can do all three. You can shop, you can take advantage of the starter kit and join you can host you can do all three okay so that's celebration i didn't want to forget to tell you about that because we are down to the final few weeks of that promotion okay other things that i haven't talked about in a while or things you should know i have a shopping loyalty card speaking about celebration and shopping i just want to thank you for your support those of you who choose to shop with me as your demonstrator i have a little loyalty card so all you have to do is go to my blog so when you go here click go to my blog or there's a link for my blog and one of the tabs in my blog is to print out your own customer loyalty card so you can collect your virtual tokens i don't keep track of anything so it's up to you to print out your own card keep track and let me know when you're ready to redeem your free shopping spree okay so um yeah for every 60 dollar increment before shipping and tax you earn a token okay so you keep track here celebration is a great time to start to fill up your loyalty card and take advantage and get those bonus gifts from stampin up okay oh i wanted to highlight the global creative um tutorial project so that is a reminder that each month I have a set of tutorials that I want to give to you. Any orders $100 or more will get this free global creative tutorial bundle with 12 written and video tutorials um, all designed by top demonstrators around the world. And why I wanna highlight it this month is because our August tutorial focuses on celebration products. So if you got some of those celebration products and you're looking for different ideas to use them, um, make sure you get your global creative tutorial bundle. So there's a few ways to get it. I guess there's two ways to get it, uh, three ways to get it really. You can one, get it free with your hundred dollar order. So each month, if you place a hundred dollar order each month, you'll get a different tutorial bundle. Another way to get it free is to join my team. All my direct team members get this tutorial bundle absolutely free. Um, just as a perk for being on my team. The third way to get it is to purchase it. So on my blog, um, I have a link and there's a PayPal link and you can purchase your tutorial bundle there. You can purchase by month or you can prepay and pay for six months of tutorial bundles and um, you save a little bit when you do the six month. 
Hi, Carmen. So yeah, so of course, I always encourage you to get your tutorial bundle free, either by being a direct team member or by um, shopping and getting a hundred, uh, making your order at least $100. But you can certainly uh, purchase the tutorial bundle as well if you wish. Okay. Oh, I forgot to mention this when I was talking about celebration, but good thing I have a flyer to remind me. Um, I showed you the celebration items in the brochure, but Stampin' Up! for August released new celebration items. So these are items that are already in the catalog, but now you can get them free with your shopping during celebration. So the one thing to remember is that if you're getting it as a free product, you have to use this free product code, but the product itself is actually the same. Okay, so it's just the item code that changes if you're earning it free with your celebration shopping. So there's lots of fun things here, the timber embossing folder, the silver foil. Ooh, the dots and spots die. Oh, okay, next week I'll try to remember to get some samples. Um, I got some swap cards using this die and it is superb. So um, anyway, I'll try to show you some samples because I want you to nab that when you can get it free during celebration. Okay, so that. Okay, we're down to the second last day to take advantage of the Sweet Sunflowers Paper Pumpkin Kit. So for those of you that are new, maybe aren't familiar with Paper Pumpkin, um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. For those of you that know about Paper Pumpkin, just know that it's a super cute box for August. The theme is sunflower themed, but what's great is you get a free gift inside. Okay, you get, um, what is the free gift? Eight gold foil honeycomb sheets as a free gift. Okay, so I'm wondering, is it a birthday? Like, why are they giving this free gift? Maybe they just love us. This I don't know. But anyway, all we know is that it's free. For those of you that aren't familiar with Paper Pumpkin, I'm going to show you the joy. Okay, so I was away. I, I was so busy in July that I didn't get a chance to open my June Paper Pumpkin. So we're going to open it here. And these were actually perfect. I took a, a few with me to Quebec because they transport so easily. Inside includes a stamp set. This one's from June, a little ink spot. So this is a great way to get started. If you haven't stamped before, or you're not sure where to begin, it's a great way to get started. Collect some of the ink colors, but look, each month is a different project. Okay, so this one are these really cute um, cards and you actually get like a little tote and a sack to put the cards in. So it's perfect as a gift. Um, now, I think there's a way to purchase additional bags. So I don't know if they're sold out already. I don't know if any of you guys know, but that is super, that would actually make really cute gifts because you could use the bag to put in other cards that you create as well. So just so you know, look, it even comes with the adhesive you need, any embellishments you need. I love it. So it was perfect for those of you that go on vacation, go to the cottage, go camping, or just don't want to necessarily you know, get a whole lot of stuff, Paper Pumpkin is the way to go. So this is the last chance to take advantage and make sure you're subscribed for the August kit. You can subscribe and be a regular subscriber and get it every month and cancel whenever you want, or you can say, I just want one box, and then you should get a prepaid code. That's what you should order. So if you have any questions, drop a, a note in the comments, private message me, and I will make sure you get set up with um, the kit that you want. Okay, and then just before we dive into the stamping and today's project, oh, I think I've got two things here to tell you. It's time to think about the holidays. Okay, I hope I don't get, <laughs> you know, when I was doing a bunch of recordings, I don't know why I kept singing and then <laughs> Facebook would like tell me that I was breaking copyright laws, but I don't think I was singing any real song there. So hopefully I'm okay, um, but I should stop singing. Hi, Carol. Okay, so 
Um, Jennifer Cotton, I don't know if Jennifer's on here. I saw her pop on quickly, but I know she's really busy. But she and I, we can't resist. We're partnering together again to do another virtual stamp camp. So Carol, you're in the United States, so you can totally register for this uh, stamp camp with uh, Jennifer and I, because you can register through Jennifer. Those of you who are in Canada, you'll register through me. We're going to make 10 different projects. Um, there's going to be an exclusive Facebook group. You're going to get some goodies and treats and bonus inspiration. So, and there's actually optional add-on classes. So for the main camp, we're going to be using the Cottage Reading Bundle. Let me see, do I have it here? Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me okay. So this is the Cottage Wreath Bundle we're gonna be using. I gotta show you the dies. Okay, so the stamp set and dies are not included with the camp. Um, so you'll have to purchase them separately, but anything that we can pre-cut for you, we will. And anything we can pre-die cut for you, we will. Um, but we do recommend that you have it, the stamp set and, and the dies. Um, you can certainly add them on when you register for the class. Some of you I know may already own this set because you're, you were early to shop or you're a demonstrator and you got it during the pre-order, then you don't need to add on anything else. You can just register for the camp. Our, our optional classes, one is going to be the Scotty Dog um, and the other one is going to be the Hello Harvest. So um, some great projects for fall. So Jennifer and I are in the thick of designing, prepping, um, getting ready for that. So we can't wait for you to join us. Okay, so if you're interested in registering, remember you can just go to this link tree link and click upcoming classes. Okay, or you can use this bit.ly link, September Stampin' for Fun. Okay, if you're in the US, just uh, message Jennifer or let me know, I'll give you her email address. Last but not least, I'm a little late on this game, but we're still doing a paper share. Let me know if you want in on the paper share. It's on my class registration. So my regular class registration form, you can get a paper share. I didn't do it earlier because I didn't want to leave Kevin the trouble of um, cutting. Like I just, I'm sure he would have done a great job. I just uh, didn't want to saddle him with that. So I'm back now, ready to do the paper share. So if you want a sampling of all the new pretty papers in the holiday catalog, this is the economical way to get it. Okay, you can just register in the um, link there. Okay, who's ready to do some stamping? Who's curious to find out what the product of the month is this month? I had to pick something kind of summery. There was a stamp set that really spoke to me in the annual catalog. So that's the one that we're using. I don't know if you want to guess those of you who have studied your catalog, but I'll give you a hint. Maybe I'll just show you a corner here. Can you guys guess what our product of the month is? Do, 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 do. It's the Sweetest Cherries Bundle. Okay, so I don't know if I missed it. Just when I was leaving Chikudami, my Chikudami mom had a little bucket of cherries. She, she always has like food coming out from everywhere. So um, yes, maybe it's cherry season. Maybe I missed it. I'm not sure. But uh, I'm very excited to use this set all month. So make sure uh, Tuesday, 2 p.m. You always join me here in my Facebook page because I'll be creating something new using this Sweetest Cherries bundle. So remember, if you like anything you see, you can always browse and shop my online store. Um, I love how Stampin' Up! makes creating easy. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to be making this card from scratch. I'm going to be using everything you see um, is from Stampin' Up, which you can purchase directly on my online store. If you're not sure how to get started, don't be shy. I love answering questions. Go ahead and message me. Let me know you need a little help and I will help to make sure that you get what you need and you don't uh, buy things that maybe aren't I mean, everything's useful, but if you're just getting started, I want to make sure you get the best start. Okay, so what I'm starting with is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of basic white 
cardstock. I'm using our thick version because um, I'm going to be using it as card base and I just wanted it to be nice and sturdy. I'm going to be cutting it in half at five and a half. Okay, so we'll use our handy dandy Stampin' Up trimmer and then I am going to score it at four and a quarter. Okay, so this trimmer from Stampin' Up actually has two blades, a light colored blade, which does the scoring and a dark colored blade, which does the cutting. If you're not sure what scoring is, you can see it here. It actually um, puts a little indent so that it makes it easy to fold your card. Okay, so that's how you make a card base, really, is you just take the eight and a half by 11 card stock, you cut it in half, and then you score it. Okay, next what we're going to do Oh, I don't know why I put that away, because I love to make layers. I think it really makes the card pop when we do layers. So I'm going to be cutting a piece of our sweet sorbet card stock. And I love how Stampin' Up! has names for everything. And I'm going to cut this at four inches. And you're going to see how everything is going to come together. So I'm cutting it at four inches by five and a quarter inches. Hi, Sharon. It's great to be back. Even though my brain is confused why I'm not talking French and hearing French, but I think it will adjust. <laughs> Brains are flexible. Okay, so there is our layer. And then I'm going to cut a white piece. So this is our regular basic white. I am going to cut it at three and three quarters. by five inches. Oh, you know what? This is not big enough, so we'll have to get another piece here. Okay, three and three quarters by five inches. Okay, and so this is a very common sort of starting point when you're making cards. It's just to kind of put these layers just to help make the card have a little bit of um, pop, right? See how that those layers? So I'm really just going down a quarter of an inch each time. So once I've made my base and folded it, the front measures um, four and a quarter by five and a half. So then going down a quarter of an inch, then it's four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then going down a quarter inch again is three and three quarters by five. Okay, so that's how I kind of created that base. Now we're going to get a little bit of excitement going. I'm going to cut uh, a strip of our designer series paper. This is in Parakeet Party, and it is two inches by um, three and three quarters. So I'm cutting it two inches by three and three quarters. Do I have it right there? Yes, because I want it to match exactly with that white. Okay, so this paper actually comes in a package. See that? So um, all the in colors um, go together in one package. So this is the 2022-2024 in color designer series paper package. Okay. Oh, Norma's asking what uh, what made me decide to go and take French lessons. Actually, I've been in love with the French language ever since my very first French class when I was in grade four. So in my province in Ontario, it was uh, mandatory to take French classes starting in grade four up to grade nine. So grade four to grade nine, it's mandatory to take some French classes. It's just part of the part of the school system. Um, but I still remember my very first French class and I like, I don't know why I just loved it. Like, I loved it. The French teacher actually didn't really speak French that well. Now in retrospect, I know that but at the time, I think I loved it. It just sounded so good. And it almost felt like I was learning a secret language, you know, because my parents couldn't speak French, no one could speak French. So um, but now that I'm older, like, so I took French all the way up till grade 13, actually. And then I kind of took a break from taking French classes because I was busy with university, getting married, having kids, that whole thing. But my love for the language never 
went away. And so I restarted around, um, like maybe four years ago it was before the pandemic when I realized, okay, like I need to get back to it. Cause I still love it. Like when I hear people speak French, it sounds like music to me. I know that sounds bizarre, but it like, it sounds like beautiful music to me. <laughs> so, so I've just always been in love with it. So that's that. So I just thought this is, so I restarted some French classes, just was looking to really figure out how I could kind of really take it up a level. Um, that's all. Hope that answers your question, Norma. <laughs> okay. Clearly I can't talk and stamp at the same time. So we'll keep going here. Um, okay. Let's go with that. And before I do anything, I'm going to take this piece and now we're going to pull in our product of the month and grab the Sweetest Cherries stamp set. And, oh, the stamp is already gone. Oh, because it's on the block. So our stamps here are great. These are the photopolymer ones. Uh, they actually peel and stick. So you peel them off from the acetate in the case, and then you can stick it right onto the block. And when you're done, you peel it off and you put it back in the case. So it's reusable over and over again. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to stamp the word sweet onto the bottom of this layer. And I'm gonna grab the Early Espresso ink pad. So stamping up again, names all their colors. And Early Espresso is what we're using here. Our ink pads are very juicy, so I recommend you only tap, tap, tap. Do not push too hard, just tap, tap, tap. Okay. And then I'm going to kind of go at the bottom here and straight down and straight up. Okay, so we've got our sweet. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of scrap paper here. And I'm going to take the sentiment that says, thank you for being so, because it'll go great with this. It'll say, thank you for being so sweet. So I'm just going to stamp that in the corner here. This is just scrap paper. Don't worry about the measurement or anything. So we'll just tap, tap, tap. And then we'll straight down and straight up. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do before I kind of get rid of this here, let me just put this away. Okay, so you guys may remember in previous uh, Tuesday at Tuesday, uh, the feature bundle was the Charming Sentiments. So unfortunately there's no dye for this sentiment, so I'm just gonna cut it using my paper snips. So when you're doing sort of freehand cutting, your scissors don't do as much moving. It's actually the paper that does more of the moving. So I'm just kind of doing a bit of an outline with this sentiment so that I can kind of cut it out. I think it's kind of trendy right now. I've been seeing it a lot more. I never used to do this. So it just shows that designs and things, they kind of, there, there is trends. It's not the same all the time. Okay, so I'm just going to cut around so that I've popped that out. Okay, so that's our stamping for now. Okay, and then, oh, can you see that there? We'll move that aside. We're going to come back to that, but I'm going to use our punch. Can you see that there's like, it's a cherry punch, a cherry builder punch. So you can purchase them separately. The stamp set is one price. The punch is another price, but I highly recommend you purchase the bundle um, so that you get both together with one item code and you save 10%. Okay. Cause you know, it's better that way <laughs> and it matches with the cherries that are on here, but I'm not even going to stamp these cherries. I'm actually going to use cardstock to create my cherries. So a little tip when you're using these builder punches is it's really handy to have stri to use strips of paper when you are punching with our builder punches. It really minimizes the waste. So just for example, I'm going to make two cherries here, but see, I'm not like punching out all this stuff. I'm just 
sort of punching out the cherry part. I'm using the same color, the Sweet Sorbet Matchy Matchy. And the other tip is when you're using a builder punch, when you punch, flip it so that gravity will help the little pieces fall out so that it doesn't jam up your punch, okay? Um, so we're gonna make two cherries. I'm a little confused. I feel something wet. <laughs> and I don't know where it's coming from. Okay, I hope my house ceiling is not leaking or something. Okay, so again, cherry number two here. Okay, again, we're minimizing wastage. We're turning it over so that the pieces fall out. So we've got two cute cherries. Okay, love how the punch makes it easy. We've got that going, okay. Here we go, we've got our cherries, but this punch also has a stem. I don't know if you can see it there. So we're gonna punch the stem. I'm gonna use a little skinny strip. Again, just to minimize wastage, I'm sticking it in the top and I'm just going to punch the stem. And we're gonna make cute little punch art cherries. So cute. Okay, and then here we have our little leaves for the cherry. Again, I'm using a little strip again so that we can. Okay, so now we can start to have all our cherry pieces. We're gonna use those. I'll put them over here in the corner so that I don't lose them. Okay, and then now we're gonna, um, okay, we're gonna pull out our big shot. So for those of you that are avid stampers, and stamp with me, you'll know all about, did I call it the big shot? The cut and emboss machine. So it is um, not electric, it's not a computer. It just unfolds and you roll things through. And look what happens when we roll things. So I am gonna roll some fun shapes. I'm gonna roll some circles. So let's roll a scalloped circle. So the way Stampin' Up! sells them, this is called the layering circles, dies. And there's a whole bunch of circles and scallop circles that kind of mat together. Sorry, it looks so messy. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab some of the Sweet Sorbet cardstock here. I'm just checking if I have this. I think I have one. Yes, I think it will fit. Great. And it just makes like a little sandwich that we roll through. Aren't you guys curious what the final card will look like? And then we just roll. Okay, and then I could use one of the circles from this set, but I'm currently very enamored with the Stylish Shapes dies because they have these cute um, kind of piercing pieces. Okay, so that, and there's all these shapes, squares, banners, circles. I'm gonna grab the circle, okay? And then I'm gonna grab a strip of basic white. Oh, Louise says, yeah, she's very curious. So let me put this around. Okay. And we'll cut this out. So go ahead. If you haven't commented yet, make sure you comment so that I know you're watching, even if you're watching the replay, because then you'll have a chance to be entered to win a little bit of happy mail from me. It's just my way of saying thanks for joining me because it's way more fun to craft together. Okay, so see, look at that nice piercing edge that we've got. It's very cute. So let me put this in here so I don't lose it. Okay, so we're just getting all our pieces together and you will see what happens. So see how it matches really nicely. Hi, Leslie, glad you could join us. How's your summer going? 
go ahead, tell me in the comments how everyone's summer's going. You've, you've totally heard all about my summer. <laughs> I can't believe we're already into August. Okay, so we're just gluing that together. And then before we finish up our card, we're almost done. I wanted to add a little bit of texture to this, but I couldn't add the texture before I stamped because if I add texture and then I try to stamp, it won't stamp very well because it's all textured. But I, I was thinking like cherry, cherry tree, nature, all that sort of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and use this timber embossing folder. Now, if you've never done dry embossing before, you are going to love it. And guess what? This embossing folder is actually free during celebration. If you place a minimum $60 order, you will get this embossing folder absolutely free if you want. It's one of the choices. You could choose other choices of freebies. Okay, so I am not like, I could, I guess, emboss the whole thing, but I like the sweet being kind of free and clear there, crisp and clean. Um, so I'm just going to be embossing kind of the top part. Okay, so I'm trying to make sure it's kind of straight. And then we'll get our cut and emboss machine out again. And this time when we're using our thick 3D embossing folders, we're just using the base platform here, which is the um, platform one. There's a number on the side, so we know that that's one. Then we put our embossing folder down. Okay, and we have to make sure it's straight because we don't want it crooked, we want it straight. And then we're going to use plate four. This is like a specialty plate. And we just have to make sure that the embossing folder is completely covered. And we're gonna roll it through. Okay. See, doesn't that just add a little something? Okay, but see how I just kind of omitted this bottom part so that it doesn't have the bumpy bumpy, it doesn't have the timber. Okay, so if you don't have this embossing folder, now's a great time to get it free during celebration. And put it away so I don't lose it. Okay, I think we're ready to finish up our card. It's like magic. I totally agree, Janice. It is totally like magic. Okay. And I'm so excited, Janice, that you signed up for my uh, stamp camp. Okay, so here we go. Let's, okay. Can you guys see okay? Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. So this kind of hides the seam, okay? so. Could have done it a little bit higher, but I, I kind of wanted to hide the seam a little bit. So I'm making sure the edge kind of matches up with that. And we're gonna use our seal adhesive, which is like magic. Okay, so we'll put that down. Okay, and then we can put this down. And we are gonna have a beautiful card. Thank you to Michelle Litwiller, a demonstrator in the US. Um, I saw one of her swap cards, a swap card that she gave me. I changed it up a bit um, because that's, you get inspiration from one place and then you change it up to kind of make it your own a bit. But um, okay, so we can stick that right onto the base. So see how all those layers are coming together? Okay, and then before I stick this on, I'm gonna put my cherries. Now, I want to give some extra depth to my cherries. So here's a little trick, um, if you've never done this before, is you can grab the ink pad that's the same color as the cardstock you're using. Grab a sponge dauber, okay? And you're just gonna like tap it onto the same color so I'm using sweet sorbet here. And then we're just gonna like brush the sides. I don't know whether you can see. It just adds that extra layer of depth. I think it makes the cherry look like more realistic. Okay. Oh, I must've caught the weird edge. 
weird edge when I was punching it, so I'm just gonna snip this off a bit, okay? But if you do that, it just gives a little depth, okay? It's just a little trick. Hi, Andrea. I was just showing how you can use the sponge daubers to add extra depth. I can't tell. Oh, there. Can you see that? See how when you sponge the edges, it just like deepens the color around the edges. So I think that adds something nice. So we're going to do the same with these little green leaves before I glue them on because it's hard to do that when they're already glued down. So that's using another one of our in colors, the Parakeet Party. And then we'll just, okay, just let me think which way I want these, these things to go, yep. Mm, let me think, maybe I want it like this. Yep, okay. So we're just gonna tap and sponge. Okay, yeah. It's great, there's like a little hole for my finger in there. So we're just gonna go around, sponge it to give it depth. And again, not a crisis if you don't do this, but I just want to show you a little trick to help add that extra depth and dimension, okay? So we'll do the same with this one. Okay. You can do more or less depending what you want. Okay. And if you don't have the Sweetest Cherry set yet, it's easy to purchase it. Just go to my online store and you can search up Sweetest Cherries. And okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to adhere my little cherry down. And I'll put another one just popped up a bit using our Stampin' Dimensionals. Oh, okay, maybe this is a bit overkill. Three dimensionals on one little cherry, but hey, it'll be very stable. Okay. There we go. And then where's our little stems? Okay. Ooh! It's looking good, looking good. Okay, maybe I want my little stem to be like that. Okay, so since the stem is so skinny, I'm using the uh, fine tip glue pen. One jar of this will last forever. You just have to remember to make sure to cap the lid as soon as you're done. But I'm just putting a tiny bit of glue. It's a very runny glue, so you don't need to squeeze the bottle very much. And Pop it on, okay, and then same with the other side, okay. It is great to be back in the craft cave with you guys, I have to say. Okay, so I'm hoping this will go well, and I love sharing the fun of stamping with you. So make sure if you haven't already start to sign up for those September classes. You're really, trust me, you are going to want to do the stamp camp with Jen and Jen because uh, we have so much fun planning the projects for you. Let me get this on here so that I can. And remember what I said, close the lid quickly. <laughs> Thank you, Louise. I feel loud. It's great to be back. Okay, so let's stick that on. I'm gonna use some dimensionals. Can you see it coming together? Oh, look, I've got adhesive sheet on there, but I will. Okay. Okay, and then let's put our little, whenever I'm putting adhesive on a little piece, I like to use my silicone mat so that I don't get adhesive on the paper. I don't know, maybe something like that. In nature, the leaves are wherever they happen to be. It doesn't look, to 
doesn't have to be symmetrical or anything. Okay, and then we'll, I don't know, we could put it in the center, we could put it off to one side. Tell me what you think while I do a little bow here. And then this, this twine comes from, there is a in color twine, Baker's Twine Pack. So for those of you that aren't familiar with Stampin' Up, like I have to highlight, I mean, maybe I didn't highlight it enough, but if you've done other crafting and you've had trouble trying to match colors, find colors that go together, like make things coordinate, it's all that stress is taken away when you use Stampin' Up! products. So like, it's kind of mind blowing. I think I'm used to it now, but really it's mind blowing. You can get a stamp set and boom, a punch that coordinates, mind blowing, and that you can use like sweet sorbet cardstock and then use sweet sorbet ink in this case i i um, used it to add some depth to the cherry but hello sweet sorbet twine too Whoosh, mind blowing so yes it's great to have things that coordinate so i am going to tie a little bow here with my cute little twine And we'll maybe pop that on there and it does make crafting so much easier and it just makes the finished product look so much easier okay so there we go okay and then did you guys tell me what you want where should we put this off to one side I don't know maybe off to the left a bit center up here anyway you get the idea <laughs> there we go okay so let's pop this on maybe more in the center but then I just put this bow I don't know Okay, off to the left. Yeah, I did go a little bit left, so I think we're good there. And then another mind blowing. Hello, there's gems in the in colors too. So we're gonna grab some of the gems. I am really running low. I might have more in my cupboard, but I didn't check. But I have just enough sweet sorbet, I think. We can... Hello. We can get these gems. They are like resisting me. Okay, so let's take these little gems, maybe stick one on either side. Sweet sorbet gems to go with our sweet sorbet ribbon. Woohoo! So that is our card for today. Okay, so it is really a very simple layout but just with a few extra sweet touches like the uh, depth on the cherries and the leaves a little bit of twine it just makes it sweet right doesn't it make you feel like happy and summery um yeah i hope you enjoyed the card let me flip this around so that i can oh yes yes we can't forget this extra embossing that we did at the top here Awesome. Okay. So, friends, thank you for joining me this week, my first week back. So, I'm going to keep uh, playing away with this bundle. And so, next week on Tuesday, I will have another project using our product of the month. And, um, Make sure not to forget to take advantage of Celebration or any of my upcoming classes because I love to craft with you. 
Yes, thank you. It feels great to be back in the craft cave. And uh, I love reading your comments. So go ahead, keep commenting. Thanks for joining me today. And we will see you soon. Bye for now.